This week, I'm stepping out of the jungle and into the concrete landscape. I'm in Perth City, capital of Western Australia. There's been reports of something very mysterious prowling the streets and laneways of this majestic city. It was along the shores of this ancient river that I first laid eyes on the beast many years ago. The beast was stalking me, following my scent. The big cat waited for nightfall to come. It attacked! The birth panther! There's been whisperings and rumors for years about this mythical beast prowling the city, drinking from the river. Every now and then an attack, but always mild, non-fatal, like the big cats just playing. But the big cats got big claws, and this game has gone on for long enough. It's time for a professional. That's what they called me, Hank van der Plank. Please have a seat. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. So, you two are part of a, a group called the uh, Suburban Wildlife Aid Group. Could you tell me a bit more about what that is? We look at animals that have come in from the wild through their lack of habitat or their destruction of habitat, and so they're migrating into cities. More and more we're seeing that all across the world. So our job is to sort of help them along. They've taken all the names of all the labels. There's no labels here telling us what this is. But that's Panther. This is the clue. They're hiding something. So, where's the Panther? There's no Panther. They're native to South America. And here? Says who? Says you. Log entry dated Valentine's Day 2012. I've seen the Panther. It was late. I'd been at a barbecue. I don't really know what I saw. Officially, I'm not allowed to confirm the existence of the panther, but there are a lot of people out there who would. I'd just go to Kings Park. If I was a panther, that's where I'd go. OK, so most of the attacks have been down in the city itself. There haven't been any attacks on the ground up here. But maybe, from what Nick said, this is where he hides out. Are you sure I'm doing this right? We have expertly assembled a state-of-the-art motion sensor camcorder and placed it near a possible nesting ground. Now, all we have to do is sit and wait for the magic to happen. The panther. She has haunted me my entire life. Whether she's real or not, it's now or never. I have to take this to the top of the food chain, to the Chief Environmental Minister of Perth. Our interview was a real eye-opener. Sadly, our tripod got shunted. We lost everything. What follows is a reenactment of our inspiring debate. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Minister. Now, what do you really know about the Perth Panther? Is this for real? Why won't you answer the question? You may not know this, Inc., but I'm actually a big fan of panthers. I donate every month to the Panther Advocates. Or... Advocates. Ask me my favourite movie. What is your favourite movie? <laughs> the Pink Panther, you see? Well, no. That's not about panthers. That's about a detective and a jewel thief. Are you part of a giant panther cover-up that goes all the way to the top? I would love for there to be a panther in Perth, but it is impossible. But what if it's not? There's only one place you'll find it. I was given a solid tip by the minister. I was told the state archives would be right up my alley. But after eight days of intense research, 
we've got bupkis. And now it's time to watch our footage. Find out if we're barking up the wrong tree. Our worst fears are about to be realized. There's nothing there. It's all wrong. <laughs> the infrared camera revealed nothing. But I'm not giving up yet. I have faith. I'm Hank van der Plank. And I have one more person that I have to pay a visit to. I was walking home from work one night. That's when suddenly I heard it. <coughs> My karate lessons really paid for themselves that night. I got something from that harrowing ordeal. Is it a piece of evidence? Why, yes, Hank. It's one of the panther's teeth. How big would you say the panther was? Meter off the ground. Male or female? I don't know. My adventure in Perth has given me the greatest moment of my substantial career as an active cryptozoographer and television entrepreneur. We've had our ups and downs, but now with this discovery. The game has changed. It means it's all been worth it. It means I'm on the right track. It means that the Perth Panther is my destiny. And once my contract for a second series has been negotiated, I'll be back for round two. It's Panther time. <laughs> Thank you.